Okay, are we ready? Uh, I'm trying something new this time. This is going to be completely uncut. I'm in too much of a hurry. I'm too excited to get into this that I'm not even going to bother editing or exporting or all that stuff. I am, I am doing just raw footage, and this is the best camera angle I could get on short nose, which sometimes wobbles. Hopefully, there's music. I don't know what's going to happen, but Shadow of the Colossus, and not this one. The PS4 one, in the special edition. I've been waiting so much longer than I needed to for this. Uh, I ordered this, is it even recording? I don't know. I ordered this back in November, and then they finally told me that it was going to get here on Tuesday, the day it came out. And so I set aside like, I don't know, like 10 plus hours of free time. The game wasn't even here. I checked it on Amazon. No, they delayed it to two or to Wednesday, the next day, and I couldn't really play it anyway. Didn't even show up on Wednesday. They delayed it to Thursday. I was waiting all day. I set aside the entire day again so that I could start live streaming the game and recording this unboxing. It never showed up yesterday. Then they told me that I could expect it in this like five-day range or whatever. They delayed it on me four times, even though I bought it in November or October or November, one of those. And I just finally here on Friday morning, like three or four days after the game came out. But I don't care. I'm excited to play this. And that's why this is a very bad, low production, high energy uh, unboxing because I don't, I don't care enough. I just need to get into the game. It is actually surprisingly smaller than I... Oh, it looks so cool. Packaging out of my way. Whoa. Whoa! It's smaller than I thought it'd be, but I guess it's just a steel book mostly, but... That looks so cool! There's lights, because that's my window. There's the camera. Uh, this is so cool. It's very hefty. It's got like this weird plastic wrap on it. Uh, don't need that. I'm not saving it as a collector's. I need to play the game. So that's kind of what the box art looks like. Uh... That's... Wait, what? That's... That's a different Colossus. But the one that has the sword like that... Isn't the one that uh, has that form factor, so... Okay. <laughs> now... Okay. So the front it just says Special Edition, only on PlayStation or whatever. And then on the back, we have... Can you see that? I... Oh, this is so unprofessional. Thank me later. Uh, experience the acclaimed and beloved Shadow of the Colossus. Explore forbidden lands on a quest to bring your love back to life. Conquer towering creatures, each presenting a unique challenge to overcome. Rebuild from the ground up for the PlayStation 4 system. Then my digital extras, which I already got because Amazon emailed me the code on the day they came out, at least. So they got one thing right. Uh, the Ancient Bow, Cloak of Fate, uh... Spotted Steed Aggro skin. I, I, I like his normal black look. That looks really cool. Or is it a her? Actually, I never bothered to figure that out about Aggro. So this comes with the steelbook in the game, the artist postcards, printed manual, two custom themes, Colossi Avatar set, world map, Colossus uh, stickers. Well, let's figure it out. Let's see what all it has to offer. I want to do this without breaking it because probably gonna go on my shelf somewhere that is important oh my goodness it's packed very tightly in here Ooh, that looks cool oh my goodness it hasn't even started to come out there we go um, empty box cool Ooh. oh whoa can you see that on camera uh yeah, it's got like a glossy, the rune that you see. I don't know if it's like the one on his back or just the one you see when you die, but... Ooh, he's all so cool looking. What all is in here? I'm missing something. Are these stickers? There's stickers in here? It's just cardboard. Uh, first thing that came out is, yeah, stickers. There's like Shadow of the Colossus stickers. Here's what they... Look like, wow. 
There's like a light and a shadow version for each one, it would seem. Yeah. And then they've got like the rune and the updated logo, but personally, I prefer the old logo to the new logo. Like the new logo looks kind of mainstream, I don't know. I like the typography so much more on this one. And like the drop effect and kind of the fading off into the distance. This one just feels flat and dull. And this one's like all rustic and it's like falling apart. Kind of like the entirety of the game, sort of. Uh, well, the game isn't falling apart, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's got this tiny little map. I thought it would be so much more than this. Jeez, but there's... It's just got this cool little map. It's only about the size of like an 8.5 by 11 or so, but... Nice material, it's weird that it's not just the map, it's like got black borders like cinema frames with the logo up here and stuff, but yeah, that's the map, I can use that as reference material or something. Yeah. It's really cool. Oh. I might actually have to... Well, actually, I'll, I'll just use that code before I uh, upload the video. So, there's that. Uh, Japan Studio. Ooh, what's this? We'll get to that. Uh, oh my. So, it comes with a physical manual. Oh, this is like the little art book. Or, not even really an art book. These are more game screenshots. Sheesh. It's so cool getting a manual. Like, I'm not used to manuals. I still think I prefer the manual in the original game, it's much more substantial and I like the form factor and the artistic design on it more, but like they did pretty good for like they actually brought a manual in. Like I really like the style of this manual. Like there used to be so much more effort into manuals and now even the special editions when they finally put a manual in them, it was like a quarter of the length. <laughs> Uh, and what have we here? Ooh, little postcard type things. So that's a really cool shot of, like, uh, Wander looking up at, I believe, the first Colossus, maybe? Uh, but it's, like, a really cool shot. Uh, you, you can probably find a better version of it online than whatever my camera picks up. And this is just kind of a semi-generic looking shot of the third colossi which that's what i that's what i meant by uh confusing me on the box art because like the colossus here is wielding the weapon that this one does but it's not the form factor that this colossus is so what colossus is this because it looks kind of like the first one but it's missing some of the platforms on the back so i'm just wondering which colossus that's supposed to be on the front then we got a steel book it's already got dust on it i guess it's just got a simple border, kind of like a PS1 game almost. And then it's just got really small the text, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, it's definitely not the first Colossus. You can see much more clearly on this, or at least I can, you probably can't. Uh, it's got dates, it says the third. Is that when the game came out on the third? No book in here. And there's the disc. Oh, I can't wait to try this out. There. Ooh, and I got... What is this artwork? I can't really tell which Colossus it is. It's really kind of faded out, but it looks really cool. But yeah, Steelbook. I don't actually think it's metal, but they're calling it a Steelbook anyway. Anyway, I need to get this game installed. Thanks for watching the unboxing. It, PS4, Shadow of the Colossus, I need to play this game. I'm probably live streaming by the time this video comes out. Uh, don't even bother with that code you saw there. It's already going to be installed by the time you see this. Either way, I need to get to playing this game. Uh, if the audio was horrible, the visual was horrible, if I kept shaking, too bad, I'm in too much of a hurry. I need to play this game. Bye.